The owner of a local LGBTQ plus social institution is coming under fire tonight. Nearly 300 individuals and organizations, including Charlotte Pride, Charlotte Black Pride and Equality NC have signed off on a petition to boycott South End's bar at 316. This is over allegations of a history of racism by the owner, which some say culminated in a recent public incident while a drag performer was on stage. As Shelby Savage, there's nothing like the rush of performing. It's fun to get on stage and entertain. I'm surely not afraid of the spotlight or afraid of crowds or anything. But the drag artist says that spotlight soured last Saturday night. He started like moving towards the dance floor, pointing at me, saying, uh, get this freak off my stage. You're a freak. You're not welcome here. Stop, stop. Savage says the insults came while working a set at the bar at 316, a well-known LGBTQ plus establishment in South End. Savage uh, says the owner, the Jeff Edwards, seen here in a prior so interview with WCNC Charlotte, the was the one hurling the hatred. Everyone in the room was very quiet. You could hear, you know, a pin drop. I didn't get out of drag. I just, you know, kept the heels on and everything, <laughs> packed my suitcase and ran out. Many in the LGBTQ plus community say the humiliation for Savage, who is part black, at the hands of Edwards, who is white, is the tip of the iceberg. But they also say it's the last straw. I do expect a lot from our community to keep them accountable and stand up for the black and brown community. And Emery Sloan is a former there. 316 employee and fellow drag performer known as Erica Chanel. Sloan is one of nearly 300 people and organizations signing on to a new petition to boycott the bar over concerns its owner is racist. I started to see it more and more as I worked there. He came to another local bar that we have here called Chasers. Um, and cornered me and basically called me the N-word in front of a group of people to my face. Sloan and other critics say they've also witnessed different treatment and pricing towards black and brown bar guests and point to online reviews on the establishment dating back years as further proof. We found a handful of Google reviews pushing back against racism allegations, but many more asserting they're real. It's just so heartbreaking because... This is not what any of us want. We don't want to see another LGBT venue go down, but we will not stand for racism. We will not stand for discrimination. We don't want to lose that building and the memories and the things that people hold there. We just need to push out the toxicity, which is Jeff. Now, WCNC Charlotte made multiple attempts to get Edwards' side of the story, including reaching out by phone, email, and stopping by the bar at 316 during listed business hours and leaving a note. We have not heard back yet. If you'd like to read the full petition and all those signing off on it, you can find that on our website, WCNC.com.